Um, all right, hi everybody. I guess you're looking at my match. I'm Grandmaster for 100 Ramirez playing against Sanan Sugirov. I don't actually know if I pronounced that right. Uh, let me change my... I guess there's no color options here. Whatever, let's play French. All right, let's play move D5. Actually, pre moving D5 is a bad idea because he plays Queen E2. I'm kind of kind of already positionally lost. Let's see what he plays against the French. Here, made a nice bunch of uh, videos on this. If you have Chastable, you should buy them. I guess that's okay because to say if I'm on Chess24, yeah, this is the right company. All right, I think he recommends C5. He recommends taking with the Queen. He recommends taking here. I'm not thinking so far, so I'm doing well. And actually, he recommends this Queen D6, Bishop E7 line, which I don't know at all. So I play Queen D7. And I think Knight B3 is a move. That's a move too, obviously. And I think I play a6, and this is all theory. He can take, take, take. I'll play queen c7, and there's bishop d6 on the next move, depending where this bishop goes. Uh, I should probably turn off my Facebook at some point. All right, queen c7. Why is he thinking? I mean, I only play French. That's not true. I don't only play French. But if you prepare it, I do play this line kind of consistently. There's queen e2 and there's bishop d3. Bishop b3 is also possible, but a bit weird because the bishop already shouldn't be on this diagonal. I don't know how to make arrows on this damn server. Now maybe I can't. Hmm. Maybe now is not the time to figure out how to make arrows on the server. It's okay. I'll do it later. I mean, I also don't mind if he's like flagging on move three. That's perfectly good with me as well. Okay, this bishop goes here. All right. H3, I think this knight goes up to F6 so that I control more squares. There's some line when the knight can go to E7, but I don't think it's this one. And on bishop g5, I think I throw in a check, and I go bishop e5. I'm not, like, making any of this up. This, not, this are not my moves. This is some sort of theory. And I think I can still go check on bishop e5. Is this true? I didn't even go bishop f4, honestly. Okay, let's throw the check first. And then maybe bishop e5 looks OK. And if c3, I'll seriously consider going h6, g5. I don't see what's actually wrong with that. Well, we're about to find out, I guess. Mm, yep. So if he goes bishop h4, do I really want to start the match by playing g5? Probably not, but it is probably also a good move. Hmm. What else can he do? I mean, he could retreat the bishop to like e3 or c1 or d2, but that's kind of not the point of the opening, right? Bishop b3 probably just go b5. Looks like a very nice position for black. Man, I have a massive time advantage. Like, I feel very uncomfortable now. I'm I'm the I'm the weaker player. I should be the one with a huge time disadvantage with uh, you know the black pieces. All right, so he goes all the way back. Which is a bit surprising. Why not to e3? But whatever. I think b5 is still pretty decent here. Bishop still defended on e5. I don't think I'm blundering anything. You could go a4. I could just go b4 to reply. Yeah, OK. This one I can go to d6 quite comfortably. I don't know why I wouldn't do that. That's fine with me. I think I'm okay taking in this position and opening up the uh, bishops a bit more than usual. This rook will go to d8. Uh, is this a threat? Sometimes it's a threat. Right now it is a threat, yeah. All right, let's defend against the threat for now. Queen c6, maybe rook d8 next move. Okay, is it a threat now? I don't know if it's a threat right now, though. Hmm. 
Also, question is, what do I do about it? <laughs> Let's just put the rook here. I'll figure it out later. Play some kind of like Banco stuff. So take, take. I could go queen e4 at the end. I could go queen e4 after I take ones on a6. I don't want to trade that many pieces though. Can I go 94 right now? 94 bishop b7, queen b7. It's not an awful move actually. I would like to punish some sort of back rank trick, but I can't really see how to make it work. Hmm. I feel like I have a trick here, I just can't see it. Can't play a little bit too slowly. Just go 94, I guess. Yeah, I don't think I'm blundering anything here. It's a bit low on time, I might surprise him. Oh, that is stone cold to play that move. That might, he might be getting into a bit of trouble. Mm. Let's see if this scares him. Maybe queen d6 at some point. It should be seven, I think I have rook a4, maybe. Take with the bishop, obviously. I want to keep some pieces on the board since my opponent has no time. Uh, let's go here. Threat stronger than the execution and all that crap. Uh, rook b8 on rook d1. I want to keep pieces. That was a good move, but I want to keep pieces. I can get a queen. I guess I get the queen, yeah. How do I win this, though? It's not going to be easy. I think I win like, like this. Queen f7, maybe. Okay, I think I want this. Fuck, I can't let that happen. Okay, under control. Not under control at all. Not under control at all. Panic time, panic. Don't. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, panic. That is the worst move on the board. I can't believe I actually found checkmate in one for my opponent. That's really bad. Am I supposed to hit rematch? By the way, producer. Okay, I can't believe I blundered into checkmate there. Like king h7, not king g8. What an unbelievable move. Well, uh, typical game for me. Let's try to actually win one. I can't hit on rematch, by the way. It's like blanked out. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, sounds right. <laughs> All right. All right, we're trying to figure out how to uh, get the next game. I, I see a challenge, I think that's it. All right. All right, let's try D4. I think he's a Nimzo player. Maybe this Bishop D2 stuff will scare him. I don't think this is scary for anybody, I was just kidding. But this is positional, my opponent's very tactical and this might work. And it's easy for me to remember. You go e3, you go rook c1, you go bishop d3. I don't actually know which with which move order, 
But you do that kind of stuff and you'll get an okay position. Like, how can I lose out of this position in the opening? I have hefty goals. My opponent keeps thinking of positions that are like relatively well known. Which surprises me because he's uh, supposed to be a very good theoretician. I mean, definitely a better theoretician than I am. The guy's like 100 points higher rated than me. Why is he thinking? Maybe he's just slow. Maybe that's what I need to exploit in this match. I mean, I have to beat him somehow. But somehow might just be that he's slow. He accelerates very quickly, though. Like, when he had to find tactics in the previous game, he was extremely fast. Maybe he's just not used to banter blitzing. Tex, do I want to take with a knight? I think I take with a knight, and I just say that that's actually pretty scary for you. I don't know if I'm overestimating my position if I take with a knight, though. I feel like not. I mean, he could just go knight c6 and play a normal game, of course. He doesn't have to take on g2 like a barbarian. Yeah, OK, he plays the more normal move. I think if I want to even pretend I have an edge, I have to go bishop e4, which might not be an edge, but it's better than like the alternatives allowing d5. Now I can think of like knight b5 against rook c8 or something like this. It might not be 100% equal, at least not yet. Watch my opponent make one good move and make it completely equal. I expect him to play something like queen c8, maybe? A queen c8, knight b5 is annoying. d5, pawn takes, knight takes, d4, queen takes is also a little bit annoying. I mean, it's an isolated pawn at the end, which is not the end of the world, but it is a bit annoying. He could play knight a5. It's a strange move, but gets rid of a couple pieces. And maybe I should stop giving my opponent ideas and just wait until he plays. Maybe I should get some water. So he does play a6. Doesn't improve his position that much. Question is, if do I want to take immediately? Could also go c5 first and then take. Actually, looks pretty tempting. Yeah, but c5, you can ignore it. OK, let's take on c6. He'll take with the bishop. I'll take here. He'll go there. I'll go rook d3. Now we start fighting over this file. Fight that I'm kind of hoping I win, but I'm not entirely sure if I will. OK, this kind of relies on the theory that this is actually hanging on b6. Like, if it goes rook d8 and I take on d8, he'll actually have to take back with the queen. Uh, if that's not true, then OK, it was true. So I get a little bit of an advantage, but not a very big one. I'm starting to doubt if I actually have anything here. Probably not much. All right, this looks like it's going to be a snooze fest. Castles, I'll have to go rook d1 next move pretty much. What on earth else can I do? Maybe I should have taken with the queen to you. So at least pretend I'm going to put pressure on my opponent. OK, so he wants to main me in one. Luckily, I have several resources to not get mated in one. Maybe since I got mated in one last time, he Assumes he can mate me in one whenever he wants. All right, g3, king g2 looks a little bit safer than alternatives. Yeah, this is fine. OK. Now the question is, when do I want to play rook d6 and I start harassing some pawns? Do I want to throw in h4 first? Do I want to go rook d4 and rook f4 instead? Rook d4 actually I like because it keeps the queen out of some important squares. Like right now, rook d4 looks really nice, just so he doesn't have queen e4. I don't want to be harassed on the light squares. And that gives me a queen with some mobility. Maybe something like queen b4, uh, some kind of peace offer.
Let's go here. Check. It's an annoying check, surprisingly, because I can't go back. And I don't want to go to h3. And I don't want to go f3. I could go e4, of course, but it destabilizes the rook just a bit. It's not a bad move at all, but I'm not sure it was exactly the move I wanted to play. But since I have rook d6 next move, everything should be at least OK. All right, what is going on now? Rook d6 looks like a move. I expect queen c4. But queen c4, maybe just queen f3. Yeah, start pushing a little bit, right? I put, I'll push his buttons. I'll make them three times. I mean, if my opponent had flagged, I'd have been so happy. Let's give him an annoying check. Maybe make rook d7 at some point. I don't know how to make progress here. Maybe I just try to kill him. Can I do that? It's a bit too much, no? I mean, I'm doing this because he has five seconds and because I need to win a game at some point, but is this actually good? I don't know. He made a... <laughs> How does he make a move with no time left? That's a really good move too. I don't know what to do here. Did you even try to press for a win? Queen f6, maybe? Whatever. I don't know if I was winning at some point. Maybe rook d7 instead of queen e5 was smarter. This guy's tough. I mean, he survives with like 0.1 second. That was insane. How does he do that? My guy has to have nerves of steel. It's amazing. Okay, let's go here and let's play some. I know Gears recommending Queen B6, but I played Bishop D7 forever and did okay. I do not know this line. That's fine. Take take nine h6. It's old. I don't know if it's an amazing line. I could play either one. I don't know if it's an amazing line, but it's a line. It's an old line. Put the knight on f5, you start pressuring d4. Theoretically, white's a bit better, but I never knew why, and it's not so easy to figure out over the board. It's like very easy to play for for the French side, right? You attack d4, and you hope it falls at some point. If it doesn't fall, you resign. What to do? Easy chess. I still can't, I can't get over the fact that he still survived with 0.1 second, and he found a good move. Like, we'd be saying was a really good move. Oh, I'm, so, I'm still mad about that. I'm going to be mad about that all day. Why do I take on d4 before knight e7? I think that because d takes c5. Is that true? I do have knight g6 there. Maybe that's just not good for black. This looks OK. Next move is bishop e7. Is he trying to play g4? I'm very tempted to just go h5, because he wants to go that so badly. It's not like I'm supposed to be afraid of f4, of like g4 and f4. I mean, I'm not supposed to be afraid, but on the other hand, do I really need to allow it? Ah, eh, what's fine, we'll allow it. Let's, let's sharpen the game a bit. I do need to come back. All right, so g4, knight f4, 
would be some kind of idea. You take take a four castle. Can I castle or do I have to play f6 first? I guess I have to play f6 first. So that there's no g5. Well, there is g5, right? So what do I do? f4 castle is g5. Does that win the bishop? No, I probably can play f6 even then. He's not even going to try. I probably just castle. And I do have to go f6 at some point to get a little bit out of my, you know, my shell. But if I get to trade a couple pieces, or if I can force him to do that, I think with the bishop so it's not stranded on that side of the board. I mean, the, the, the pawn being on g4 is a big problem for him. Because if I can get my bishop to e4, I'll be in great shape. Of course, there's a lot of moves until that happens. But let's start, uh, you know, mentioning it as an issue. You could play bishop d3, but that, of course, weakens d4. I could consider taking on d4 immediately. I don't actually know if I want to do that. But I would consider it. Actually, I have rook c4 at the end. Somewhat tempting. For him to go like bishop d3, knight d4, well, a story for another time. No choices. Uh, I could just defend this with the queen instead of the um, instead of the bishop. And the reason I'm going to do that is because sometimes knight d8 is useful. I'm going queen d6 because I don't think knight b5 is a good move. I think the knight would rather stay on c3. Uh, okay. So this actually would do much for you. think so. But how do I want to do this? Bishop d7 or do I want to go yeah, bishop d7 first maybe? The other option was to take and then go bishop d7, but this looks okay. Of course, knight b5 is a problem, right? How bad of a problem is it? Unclear actually, because go queen b4. It is unclear how much of a problem this is. Now he has bishop e2 at some point. <laughs> take, 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 bishop e2. Yeah, this bishop e2 is kind of crushing. Well, that's a problem. <sighs> Do I have any out here? Take stakes, queen b5, bishop b2. If I could connect my queen to my bishop somehow, but fortunately, bishop b6 doesn't work because it's check. What else can I do? Can I corral that pawn somehow? Pawn corralable? Looks so scary to do that though. Just if I have a choice. I don't think I have a choice. And the queen goes here. And with some hopefully extreme amount of luck, there is no actual win after bishop g4, knight b8 with queen f2, rook f8. I mean, I don't believe in this. I think white should be winning somehow. I just don't see how. Maybe they just rook f8, but queen of uh, bishop f4 is good enough. Actually, just moving the queen is good enough, no? Yeah, that should be enough. Yeah, I missed this bishop e2 move. Or I underestimated bishop e2, and then I realized I was just lost. Maybe queen g2 is just the best move for him. Yeah, yeah that's good enough. I have to take with the king, which is kind of sad. I mean, if I took with the bishop, he goes bishop f4. Yeah, this works too. Damn, I'm out of tricks. 
Uh, well, that sound was as depressing as this game was. It just felt like I was doing okay, and then I missed one shot. Let's try e4. d4 didn't go well last time. So what am I down? Two and a half half? That's not good. Okay, let's see what he plays. He's a Sveshnikov player, maybe? Oh, I guess he is. All right, let's see. Bishop g5. I used to play Sveshnikov back in the day. How does this go? He goes f5. There's some rookie one line. Maybe I should play that line. It's very sharp. But I haven't looked at it in forever. Supposed to go bishop p6, high castle, takes, takes rookie one. That's what it is. This line is technically not that good, but it is kind of fun to play for both sides in a way. So I have to play c3 because c4 is an issue. Kind of the whole point is you go knight c2, bishop f1. And then you decide whether you want to go a4 or you go g3, bishop h3, and hit this pawn. What ends up happening is black just throws the kitchen sink at you on the king side and says, I am going to mate you. And they're usually correct that you're quite very close to mate. But it's sharp, and at this point, I need a point. So, you know, let's play something sharp, right? I don't feel like I got outplayed in, in the game so badly. I felt I was doing OK, and then I just lost the thread of the game. Yeah, you go right here. I think even a force a move here. And then I have to fully admit I do not remember the rest. So we'll figure it out. I'm pretty sure it was f4. Maybe it was e4. Maybe f4 is actually weird. I like how I instantly reacted to f4 like I like I knew it. Sometimes knight b4 or knight a3 is actually better than taking it directly, but I'm not clever enough to figure out why, so I'll just take. And my Yasser in me says that a6 is actually hanging, but uh, I guess we'll find out. b4 maybe at some point. Knight a3, knight c4 looks kind of strong. It's the usual idea to go knight a3, knight c4 when they do this. So I guess I'll do that. I guess I'll do that. At five, maybe I'll move my bishop back. I don't think I have to move my bishop back, honestly, but I'll move it. And then e4, maybe I'll just go f3. So I don't know if he can do that. OK, I asked a question. I'll play it instantly, because I forgot it's 3 plus 2. But also, it's the usual reaction. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. He has check, king h1, queen b2. We'll figure it out. Knight c4, queen c3, knight d6. It's a mess. All right, well, how do I want to do this? Usually, you take on e4 first. Hmm. I'll just take here. Should have enough compensation at the very least for this pawn. All right, maybe queen knight b5 looks like a more or less normal move here. And once the queen gets to c5, I would really like to evict it. I just don't know how to do so yet. But let's do this. Um, I think he'll play queen c5. Question is if I take on f5. Probably not, huh? I'd like to play something that controls him more than that. Something like queen b3, but he has rook b8. I wish I had a discovery after rook c4. Not so easy.
Man, if I had a good good score for my knight, my position would be awesome. I just don't know how to do so. Maybe this rook needs to come back or something so I can go rook c2, but I like it on the fourth rank. I need to make a move. Maybe just bishop d3 improves my position. I don't know. I don't know. I had a hard time coming up with a move there, to be quite honest. I can't say I mind my move too much, but it feels so slow, right? The idea is I'll play queen e2 against one of the rooks coming to b8, and I'll hold on to this knight. And if he takes, I'll take with the queen on e4. If he takes with the pawn, I probably just rook takes e4. It gives me enough beast play, I was hoping. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Okay. I could take on d5 on uh, f5 now, though. I don't see any tactical problems with that. There are some background issues, but I don't see why they should concern me. He's making sure knight d5 works. Wait, this works? What? I mean, it's a move, it's just not that I expected. I don't know if that pawn was worth taking, but I took it. Okay, I assume he wants to make his own threat. I'd love to play g3, but I can't. How do I make threats myself, though? Okay, this rook needs to come back to the defense. I'd really rather not trade the rooks. So why not? This might end up in some sort of draw. Yeah, this is just gonna be a draw. Well, and by that I mean I still have to prove that this is a draw. Here, 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 that no, should be okay. Um, I think I'll be fine here. Okay, let's ditch this pawn. Actually, can I start trying to win this? Take, take. Can I start trying to lose this? My god, am I gonna lose this? Here, 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 here. No good moves. Takes, here, 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 here. How do I get my bishop back? <sighs> Unbelievable to lose that. It's like, at some point I lose the... Uh, Thread of the game, well, like, why would I not go with my king closer to the pawn? Oh well. Let's play a Banco Gambit, screw it. It's pre move c5. Come on. I really feel this match didn't go so badly, but at some point, man, every game something unraveled. Okay, I'm gonna go down with at least one victory, come on. <sighs> Alright, what am I supposed to do here? I guess I could just play g6.
<sighs> you would think I know what on earth black's supposed to do in this position. Is it like check and b4? Check and b4 makes sense. I like maybe asking too much for my position though. I think it should go c3? Question mark. Could go e6 and just develop my pieces. Probably what I need to do. But since I actually need wins, I'm going to play b4. Seems a bit anti-positional, though. A bit. Hmm. I don't know about a bit. A lot. Okay, this I did not expect. Okay, so we say have to break the center if you play c4. Uh, Ship d3, I can take twice on d5. Should be okay. Most things I'm going to take on d5 and go d6. Should also seem more or less okay. Not this is not most things. I could actually take with the d pawn. Honestly, but I'll take with the f pawn. And then something like bishop b7. Yeah, I think this is fine. I'll play bishop b7. Don't really care about having my king in the center. I mean, I should care, but at this point, whatever. Okay, let's develop this guy. He offers that we can both develop if I take on d2. Uh, yeah, but he gets a queen to h5, which I don't particularly like. So I'm going to go back. He'll try to play e4 to play for an advantage, but I kind of have to goad him a little bit. Really? OK, I'm not so scared of this. I can just take it, I think. And go queen c7, knight c6. Looks OK. I like having b4 for my knight. If this king was on g8, I would actually think I'm doing great. The thing is, king's not on g8. Okay, so he's defending from this knight g4 nonsense, sometimes really annoying. And knight g4 knight d5 is not available to me anymore. So h3 is actually a really good move. Very positional. A bit timid, but but it's fine. Uh, I think knight b4 is called for, because I need the square for my knight. I need to open my bishop. I need to pretend I have a threat. Maybe I should just take him with the g pawn and gone all out. Maybe that's a bit too much, though. Okay, this queen will probably go to b6, so it defends this guy. I mean, this pawn goes to a6 at some point. 95, I have d6, hopefully. I am exerting a little bit of pressure. Which is kind of true for every game so far. I, I felt I've been doing OK. It's not like I'm getting blown out of the water. Results, though, that's where it matters. And results are bad. My opponent's taking his typical long think of the of the tournament or the round to figure out what he wants to do, and then he blitzes out a bunch of moves like that. All right, I guess I play g6 because I really don't want this queen getting anywhere near me. This I did not expect. Can I go rook f4? I want to force him to go e5, and then I'm going to try to win that pawn if I can. So he really doesn't want to. I still think knight c6 is a worthy maneuver. I don't know what my knight's doing here anymore. Maybe like a5, rook b8. Put some pressure on him. 
It's like I put in pressure every game. Then somehow this happens. I make one bad move and he's all over me. Okay, he wants to kid him. He wants to hit that rook. Let's not allow that. Oh, that move order is interesting actually. Why did he do that this way? Okay, let's call our C5. Two exchanges too much, right? Two exchanges is a little bit too much. Let's just play normal chess. There's no reason to play rook takes f3. Like I have a good position, I have a fine position. Takes, takes, queen g5 at the end. Resourceful little guy, huh? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Like, how is he so resourceful? Finally! It's true, the man can win a game. I mean, I had to punish that he's so low on time all the time. The man, the man is on the scoreboard. The man feels happy. All right, let's do this, and let's, I guess, let's take, and let's go d4. And I already realized the move order is wrong because my knight's on f3, why did I do this? Yeah, my, it's supposed to be bishop d3 first, right? That makes a lot more sense. Yeah, that's why my opponent's thinking of move four. Like, I let this guy already mess up the move order of the Karakhan. I think there's some 95 line here somewhere. e6. That is the most unambitious move imaginable. I don't know. I'll play some brutal chess like f4, bishop d3, davai davai. There, let's put this bishop here. Maybe at some point I go c3. At some point I go f4. I'll go f4 now. This pawn is hanging. Sometimes I'm losing it, guys. Sometimes I'm just losing it. It's okay. We'll play for the compensation. This is very going to be akin to. The great game Vitugo of Yu Yang Yi from the World Cup. And I'm playing so fast, you might think it's theory. Oh, Jesus. This is a free pawn. It's an important pawn, too, because it stabilizes my center. So I'm going to have to play like super fast. Pretend that was a sacrifice. All right. I think you cannot or do not want to take on. Um, E5 just yet, I assume. Now they've created threats. At some point, I do have to go C3 anyway. And the question is if he just sticks a knight on E4, what do I do? Yeah, we'll figure it out. So here. C3 definitely seems called for. Uh huh. So I'll go queen e2, I guess. All right, let's start bringing some pieces to the attack. Go like knight g5, rook f3, something like this. Scare him up a bit. Do I want to play king h1? If he plays a nothing move like bishop e8, I'll play king h1. He probably is considering going knight e4 at some point, actually. Yeah, I promised I would play this move, so I'll play this move. If I was saying I would play knight e4 in like a heartbeat. Ooh, he wants to play it after. I'm cunning. 
still think those are kind of like my best type of positions to try to win. Put the queen on g4. So I got my pawn back, guys. I got my pawn back. That's a great news. Great news. Uh, the rest of the position, mm, extremely suspicious. All right. Uh, so he wants to go with his queen g6 ideas. I survived that, actually. Go like knight d4 and establish a knight there. But that would hang checkmate in one. <sighs> Problem is like bishop g5, he has queen g6. If I had a bishop g5, I think I'd be not as unthrilled with the position as I am right now, but I am pretty unthrilled with my position. Is that a word? Probably not. Knight d4 doesn't do that much, but my horse would look spectacular in the center. You know what? Let's go horse. Off to off you go. All right. At some point, he will actually play um, queen g6, which is probably next move. Not too much I can do about it. So let me just move this rook here. He'll go there. I'll go queen h3, and then maybe maybe one day I'll get rook d3, queen rook g3 in. I can't play rook d3 right now because he'll take on g2. So it's like one someday kind of idea, but. I need to do something. I'm seriously considering going b3 to reduce the activity of that bishop. He might take on d4 and be like, you know what? I'm OK with the draw. I could be, I would understand that approach. On the other hand, he has two bishops. He can probably just play on, be fine. Rook d3, I really want to play, but it's just never going to work, is it? Maybe I'll play rook e1. Maybe this rook on f1 is just not good. Sure. I am managing to confuse my opponent. I'm like, what on earth is this guy trying to do? I don't know myself. That's how I confuse my opponents. So now I can play rook e3. He wants to take on. Um, he wants to take on t4. So let's not let him. I mean, I let him, but. It looks a little bit more uncomfortable than if I have to take with the with the C pawn, right? Maybe I'll put every piece on a dark square. I can go rook d2 here. It's not a bad move. Um, I can also go b4. Do I have 96? I do not, because I'm always hanging checkmate. I think. Go b4. Screw it. If I have to flag him in opposite color bishops, I'll flag him in opposite color bishops. Not that I can do that anymore. All right, the bishop's on that side, so let's play bishop b3. Let's cement that pawn. I have a threat. Unbelievable, guys. I made a threat. So he's okay going into slightly worse endgame now. Interesting. I don't know if I'm okay with that, though. I don't know if I have a choice. It's not even like that smart. It's slightly worse, is it? <laughs> can play rook d7. Hold <sighs> it with the rook, huh? Okay. All right, some, some non-existent ending technique coming up. Uh, I don't know why that point is a dark square, but I'll let it be. I know, I know he wants to expand, but I don't know if this is the correct idea for him. Okay, I'll play a3 at some point. Ooh, especially now it becomes tempting to move my bishop out of the way. Like not that tempting, but a little bit tempting. Let's move out of the way. Okay, so he defends this way. I'll go defend this way. Yeah. OK, 
Okay, I'm a little paralyzed. And I have this move. I don't know what this end game is because rook d5 at the end is kind of dangerous. Nice take, you can take. Shit. Can I still make a draw? I think I can still make a draw. He doesn't want it. Considering he's up a pawn, makes sense. Yeah, this should end in a draw. Kind of running out of ideas for both sides. Maybe rook f4? Seemed a little bit unnecessarily risky, but okay. I go for it, guys? I guess I go for it. Yeah, it gets back on time. All right. Um, that was rough. <sighs> All right, so I get another try, but this time we'll be with the black pieces. Not as easy. I can't play French because he'll play. He takes d5. Ooh. Okay, let's try some some of this garbage again. Trumpowski! Oh man, I haven't seen Trumpowski in eons. Jesus. I could have played d5, I guess. Whatever. This is like wild enough if he takes on f6, right? I'll take with the g pawn. And it's the kind of the game I'm supposed to be wanting to get. I think I go f5, or do I start with queen b6? Maybe queen b6 first. Usually because this pawn's not very defended, you kind of want to drag that queen to c1, but I never know if you can actually take this pawn on b2. Especially if h6 a move, it's a move, it just looks very dumb. If you can play just d3, right? So why would I do that? Um, I guess I'll just develop. No, I'll just go f5, right? F5, bishop g7, next move, hits the pawn on g2, then I'll go d6, e6, something like this. I guess f5 wasn't the move, because he started thinking after it. I can go e6 too. It's a little bit more on the spirit of what uh, black needs, which is a full point in this position. Uh, playing from behind is difficult, but at least I'm glad I won one game. It's not like I got crushed tremendously. Just a little bit. All right, knight a6, knight c7, let's go. It works or it doesn't. If it doesn't work, my position is really, really bad. Otherwise, I'm gonna take a pawn. Okay, so I have bishop h6, and I am actually wondering what he's doing against that. We shall wonder no longer, he shall tell us in person. Because, I mean, he has plenty of compensation if he just gets up the pawn. So he might consider doing that. This I would, did not think he would do. What happens if I take? Take, 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 queen b2. It's a rook. Ah, no, he has queen e5 at the end. Uh, 
All right, all right. Well, let's save that idea. Let's go d6 first so he doesn't go d6 himself. And I will decide when I want to take on, on d6. It'll be down the line, probably. I mean, I can also just play something like e5. It's not the end of the world not to take that pawn. And he's considering whether he will actually wants to take himself on e6. I don't see why he would just yet, because it allows me to play d5 later on. Uh, so perhaps a little bit of a war of attrition. If you could play rook d1, it'll just push me to play e5, which again, I'm not sure I don't want to play. That's going to kill my position to do that, though. Let's go here. Rook d1 is the issue, because I don't have time to play rook d8. He'll take on e6, and I always want to take back with the pawn. I never want to take with um, a piece. But never is a long time, and I need a move. <sighs> I'm just doing this to keep pieces on the board, but that's an ugly move. All right. This I can kind of survive with. He'll play f4, I guess. I mean, this is ugly, a, a sin, but you know, at least I'm not like losing. So if here he'll go back, that's bad. I guess I have to bring my rook in and start considering if I want to actually take with uh, the rook on e5. I wish my queen was somewhere useful. I wish my pieces were somewhere useful. Uh, it's not on h5, a bit offside, but not the end of the world for him. I don't know why he's playing h1. Is he preparing g4? Because he might win, but I'm kind of welcoming a move like g4. It's just so I have a chance to do something. If he shuffles, I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll play bishop here and bishop g6, and I think I have enough defenders on this pawn. Oh, where, where are you going? It's an interesting little move. All right, I'm a, I'm a little bit scared about queen h4. But on the other hand, should I be? Maybe not. Maybe queen h4, 98. Oh, OK, that's annoying. That move is actually really annoying. I really don't want to play 98, but I don't have a better move. At least 98 holds on to a lot of my position, especially the d6 pawn. Time to consider playing c4 myself, huh? It's that desperate around here, guys. Okay, I think I can go here. The point is I'm defending this rook, so I can take and take back with the f pawn. Okay. Position is really miserable. But I have played worse positions. Hmm, I don't know about that actually. What to do, huh? The fact that I am at up material is the most temporary thing ever. Okay, how do I get out of this? I 
Yeah, that's the match, guys. I don't see a defense here. It takes on G7, I'm just gonna resign, huh? And just force checkmate in, like, takes, takes. Just, just mate. What you think about, bro? Queen E8, Rook, J, Rook, H7 is checkmate, right? Okay. I mean, position still impossible to play, but I wish my opponent had just made in me. So I don't have to suffer this game. Have I not had enough suffering? What did I do to you, Sanon? Can I can I resign now? Uh, all right. Not as close match as I wanted it to be, but I did have my chances. All right. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. Well, good luck to my opponent. Moving on.